Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'll bring you a special Week 14 breakdown between the Cowboys taking on the Chicago Bears in a Monday Night Football special. We saw on Thanksgiving Tony Rumble and the Cowboys make quick work of the Oakland Raiders, and we saw the Minnesota Vikings defeat the Chicago Bears. This team is done, folks. Let's stick a fork in them. I don't believe they're going to make the playoffs. I don't care who comes back. I don't care if Jay Cutler comes back as, as anybody in history. I don't care if he comes back as Montana, Elway, whoever. He, this team is a soft football team. When I look at the Chicago Bears top to bottom, without Brian Urlacher, they are just not the same football team. I thought that they would be able to at least weather the storm without him and play a good, solid football brand. On offense, they are picking up a little bit, but on defense, they are soft as tissue. Even with the injuries, it's no excuse because because the people that are coming in are playing softer than the starters play. When I look at the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys have been trading on thin ice, but they've been playing better as of late. The play calling has been better. Tony Romo has been doing a lot of better things with the football and holding on to it as of late. If he gets in this football game and tries to get a pissing contest with the other quarterback, whether it's Jay Cutler or not, he will have problems because the Bears still have a stingy defense at times when it comes to intercepting the football. If it gets down to a shootout, I like the Dallas Cowboys in this one only because they have more weapons that I believe in. I believe in Des Bryant, Miles Austin. Uh, if Murray's healthy, he can give them a, 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 a hell of a punch coming off that running back position. Jason Witten is one of the best tight ends in the NFL that we've ever seen. I think that he separates himself better than anything that the Chicago Bears have at tight end position. And these are some of the factors. When you look at the defense getting healthy for the Dallas Cowboys, that's just another weapon they can use in this front. When those corners are playing at a high level and they can play with confidence and you have Sean Lee in the middle that potentially could be back as their field general for defense, that just adds another level to the layers of success that they will have against the Chicago Bears on Monday night. Plus, you're looking at the Dallas Cowboys. They have to keep pace with the Philadelphia Eagles or risk losing that number one spot in the NFC East. So the pressure is on the Dallas Cowboys, and I expect them to win this football game on a collision course with the Philadelphia Eagles coming up in a few weeks. So let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like the Chicago Bears are going to win this game, or do you feel like I was right picking the Cowboys to win this football game? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube backslash Just My Picks TV, which is in down below. Click the red box, light it up, and let me know what you guys feel. Hit that comment section and let me know, good or bad, what you guys feel. Let me know all your thoughts about these teams. Do you feel like they're going to make the playoffs? Which team is better? Let me know what you guys think fully. Also, check out our uh, page, JustMyPicks.com, for all the breaking news and all the sports that updates that you want and you need from all your sports, not just NBA, but NFL, MLB, golf, all the breaking news. Also, share our page on your sports channels. Let us know what you guys think. And also, have a blessed day. Thank you all very much for subscribing.